Well, it's not even a Friday, but I still get to hang out with someone fabulous. It's Brooke Nichols, recording artist, worship singer, and leader, and music teacher, and am I missing anything? No. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're, we're good. We're as good as we can be. Yeah. Are you feeling any of the quarantine fatigue that people are starting to talk about now? I mean, yes. And I was feeling it like tenfold a few days ago. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we went out and bought something to help with that. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. We're going to get into that in a few minutes. But as a worship leader and as a singer, how has your life changed over the past few weeks? Wow. Um, you know, honestly, our whole entire life feels like it's been flipped upside down because just, you know, all live events were canceled. I work at a church. Um, you know, I travel, do tours, conferences, events, retreats, like you name it. Yeah. And everything has been canceled. So we've kind of been left like, okay, how do we continue to serve the church in this time when everything has been moved to like an online experience? So yeah, it's been a crazy, challenging, fun time. <laughs> yes, but you seem to be coping well, and you're coping well with a rather large purchase. I'm calling <laughs> these purchases quarantine purchases because it seems like a lot of parents are buying large swing sets or some sort of massive activity-based uh, purchase for their kids to do to get them out of the house, to get them active. And I've been following you on Instagram, and I see you might have made a purchase for yourself. <laughs> yeah. We bought a big trampoline, <laughs> which is so funny because I can see my neighbors like looking out their windows being like, yeah. is that an adult woman on a big <laughs> trampoline up there? <laughs> It's so fun. It's so fun. You know they're jealous, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. So what made you decide on getting a trampoline? Well, okay. So because, you know, life has just changed uh, to all online stuff, I was finding mm -hmm. myself, both Steve and I, um, you know, we're mixing churches, um, audio, we're recording worship sets for conferences. Um, I'm... Uh, I just finished editing my book. We found that we were sitting at our desks from the moment we woke up until like, you know, eight, nine, 10 o'clock at night. We just like weren't moving. Yeah. And so, you know, you do that for a few weeks and you just feel like so sluggish and like just kind of disgusting to be honest with you. <laughs> I said to Steve, I'm like, we need to do something. And I was like, if I had a big trip, like I hate working out. I hate running. I hate all that stuff. Um, but like, I don't know. I was like, if we get a big trampoline, like that'll just motivate us to get outside. And like, lo and behold, every morning I throw in my headphones, put on some music and I jump for 10 or 15 minutes. And it is like changed my days. <laughs> I love it. So are there actual health benefits to jumping on a trampoline? Okay. Yes. So they say that 10 okay. minutes of jumping is like 30 minutes or of, of running or 60 mm. minutes or something. Um, sure. and it like gets your lymph system, um, like active and like fights, you know, you know, viruses and sicknesses and all that stuff. And it's so funny because I grew up with a mom who like drove me crazy with all of her health things. Yeah. And she always had, we always had a little trampoline in our basement. And when I would get, you know, cold or get sick, she'd like send me to the basement to jump on the trampoline. Really? I know I'd go down stomping my feet. Like my mom's making me do this thing. And, uh, but like, <laughs> Now I realize like, oh, that's why she made me do that. <laughs> I love it because I always just thought jumping would be for fun, not really any health benefits. Yes, I know there's like the exercise side of it, but I don't know. I have bad knees, so I'm not too sure if I'll go there. <laughs> okay, well, it's funny because the other day, so I do it every morning. I get up. So for, I've had it for seven days now, eight days now. So every day for the last eight days, I've been on it and I just... I feel amazing. And the other day I woke up, you know, a few days in and I was like, oh, my stomach like kills. Like I thought, am I too old for this? Like is my, <laughs> my body like flipping up inside out, like inside of my body. Yeah. And then I realized that like, it's because I'm using muscles that I've never used before in my life. <laughs> every time you land, your body like it flexes, right? Yeah. So <laughs> oh my goodness. So while I'm eating chocolate, you're getting a great workout. So I can only imagine myself once this is over. <laughs> you have to roll me onto a trampoline. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I love it. And the image. So I'll just keep tracking with you on Instagram and your trampoline purchase. Oh, it's so good. I'm sure there's more than just health that you are leaning on right now in this season. I know a lot of people are struggling, a lot of people dealing with all sorts of mental health stresses and illnesses because of the isolation side of things. Mm -hmm. How are you and your family able to cope emotionally and spiritually during this season? Yeah, I mean, of course, we're all feeling all sorts of things, like you said, you know, mm -hmm. uh, mental health is a real thing during this time. And um, we, we, we felt it, the, the effects of it really quickly. And yeah. I learned actually really quickly in this time that God is actually who he says he is. Mm -hmm. You know, as a worship leader, I stand on stage and I, you know, I lead people to this place and I sing like, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. He's way maker. And I felt really challenged at the very beginning of this, of God saying like, you, you lead that. Like, do you believe it? Mm -hmm. Because we were faced with like, we had like, Steve and I lost our jobs essentially. And um, we were just kind of left like with how do we eat? How do we, how are we going to pay our bills? Especially if this lasts for like another year, let's say, or whatever. Yeah. And, um, you know, one night I went to bed and I just said like, God, like, like, I know, you know, I know God is with me, but there's just this still this like feeling of like, I hope we get through this. And I just said like, God, don't forget us. And every time, you know, I've called out to him in some sort of like desperate way, always shows up in the most creative, uncanny ways and like just continues to provide for us, continues to comfort us, continues to remind us that we matter and that we're seen. And um, yeah, I'd say like, that's like our weapon in all of this is remembering the truth of who God is. Mm -hmm. And one of the verses that I've been leaning so heavily on is actually Psalm 23, the passion translation. And um, can I read you a little piece yeah, of it? Yeah, Absolutely. Um, and it says, uh, you know, Lord, even when your path takes me through the valley of the deepest darkness, fear will never conquer me for you already have. You remain close to me and you lead me all the way through it. Your authority is my strength and my peace and the comfort of your love takes away my fear. And then it goes on to say, so why would I fear the future for your goodness and your love pursue me all the days of my life? Wow. I love that. And it's true. Like, yeah. you know, we are all, we're all in this together and we're all facing this in different ways and on different levels. Mm -hmm. um, and the reality is, is like God is with each and every one of us and he's leading us through this valley. Uh, you know what the truth is, is that his love is our comfort and uh, he is our peace in this. Yeah. And so those are just some things that like have really been getting us through this time. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that today. As I know, you know, like I said earlier, a lot of people are, are really going through a rough time and it's tough and the quarantine fatigue is tough. And it's just, there's so many massive changes that we've all had to try to negotiate, but we are in this together. And even though we're in that season of sometimes feeling alone or it's like a dark, tough season, God is still walking with us in this. So thank you so much for your words of encouragement today. Thanks, Holly. Thanks so much for having me. And thank you for being on our show today. It's been a blast <laughs> talking serious things, talking trampoline, and hopefully we can do it again soon. Jumping my way through quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> you need a shirt that says that. <laughs> I want it. Uh, thanks, Brooke. Thanks, Holly. <laughs>